Master? Ah. The others told me that you were home, and I know that you enjoy resting in the library after a long journey, so I figured you would be here. I thought I would come to welcome you and ask how you are. Well, I'm surprised that you're back so soon. I was under the impression that your visit was supposed to last through tonight, and that you would return tomorrow afternoon. Oh, did you miss me too much to stay away? <laughs> Sorry. I know I promised I wouldn't flirt so much, but I can't help it. You were gone for five days, and I missed you so much. I know, but still... Any day without you feels like torture. All I could do was sit around and clean everything over and over again until you returned. Oh, I know I didn't have to, but what else was I supposed to do? Just sit and watch the clouds drift across the sky? You know I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> mm, but enough about what's happened here. How was your visit? Specifically, how was the ball? I know you hate attending them. And I was so worried that you were having a horrible time. I felt terrible that I couldn't come with you and give you excuses to leave whenever you got annoyed by all those desperate suitors begging you for a dance. I know, but that doesn't help to ease my guilt. I'm your butler. Falling ill shouldn't have stopped me from coming with you to an event where you so clearly needed me. <sighs> Mm hmm. Aw, were you worried about me? Mm hmm. Oh, 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 my darling, how lovely are the words you speak. Ah, I am healed by hearing of your concern for me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I can't help it. Hearing you say that you care for me makes me happy. Oh, but I'm not flirting. I'm merely telling the truth. <laughs> fine, fine. All completely truthful flirting aside. Yes, I feel much better. It took a few days, but I'm over the worst of it. I'll admit to being a, a little tired, but that's nothing out of the ordinary in this case. Now quit asking about me. I want to know how you've been. <laughs> Different, you say? I assume that you mean exhausting from the sound of your voice. Though you predicted that even before you left the manor. I remember that you said that many of the suitors vying for your hand in marriage would be there. And that tensions were rising between many of the noble families that would be in attendance. I assume that there was quite a bit of drama to be found. More than a bit? <laughs> well then, consider me intrigued. Care to tell me about it? <laughs> what can I say? I usually go to these events with you and get to see what happens firsthand. So I want to know what I missed. <laughs> you can call me a gossip if you want, but that won't quench my need to know what I missed. Mm hmm Yes? Really? And in the middle of the yard where everyone could see? <laughs> well, that must have been quite the sight. Even they should know better than to fight at such a formal event, especially given that they're both still looking for someone with whom to spend the courting season. Who won? <laughs> of course, I should have guessed. Lady Elise would never put up with such fighting, and certainly not within the first hours of everyone arriving. I trust that she gave them both a very stern talking to. <laughs> I figured so. She's not the type to tolerate that behavior for even a moment. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that made for an interesting first few hours. And what else happened from there? Hmm. Oh, 
Now that's been a long while in the making. Those two have been dancing around each other for quite a while now. I'm glad they finally worked up the nerve to ask each other to dance. Really? Ah, uh, well, I suppose that's to be expected. After being so nervous to approach each other, it shouldn't be expected that they're completely at ease with each other immediately. Hopefully, at least they didn't trip over each other's feet. <laughs> oh. oh, that's rather unfortunate. Though it's also a little funny. <laughs> I can only hope that that meant that the rest of the dance went more smoothly. <sighs> of course they did. How ridiculous. You'd think that all of them would finally learn to read the signs and realize that you are not interested in them. <sighs> Inviting you to a dance won't change that. I'm not getting angry. I'm just annoyed on your behalf. You shouldn't have to deal with such pathetic attempts at your hand when you aren't even seeking a relationship. I can hardly help it. You have told them time and time again, yet they treat your rejections as nothing that should dissuade them. I knew I should have come with you. Sickness be damned. If I were there, you wouldn't have had to deal with any of those desperate fools. They should have known much better than to annoy you when I was away from your side. I swear, the next time I see anyone try to pull something like that, I'll tell them exactly what I think of their worthless attempt to persuade you to marry them. Mm -hmm. What is it, Master? <laughs> Me? Jealous? I could never be jealous of anyone like that. Oh, oh, my darling, please don't look at me like that. You know I can't lie to you when I'm looking you in the eye. Please stop looking at me. I'm just... I... Fine. Yes, I'm a little jealous. I hate knowing that you danced with so many people when you should have been dancing with me. <laughs> well, how could I not be? Getting to be so close to you is an honor. It only makes sense that I'd be jealous of anyone taking my spot as your dance partner. Especially if they have designs on courting you. <laughs> my darling... You can't just say something like that. My heart might just explode from how sweet you are. Um, I'm not being overdramatic. It's the truth. Uh, hearing you say that no one can take my place uh, is enough to make me weak in the knees. Could you say it again for me? <sighs> mm. In such lovely words, in such a lovely voice. Have I ever mentioned how much I enjoy listening to you? Uh, well, uh, have I ever mentioned how much I enjoy listening to you say those particular words? Oh, then I'll have to say it more, won't I? Oh, but I suppose that you'll just have to say those words more, so I can say it in response. Oh, but won't you say them at least once more, so I might commit them to memory? Because I want to remember them so well that they stay with me even in my sleep. <laughs> of course I'd dream of you. It could hardly be called a dream if you weren't there. You're only in my good dreams, of course. I'd never subject you to any nightmares. Why didn't you say so sooner? If you'd been having nightmares, my darling, then all you need to do is come to my room, and I'd be glad to ward them off. <gasps> oh, why, I would never imply such a thing. I was simply offering that you might sleep in my bed with me, so I could keep any nightmares from reaching you. In fact, given that look of tiredness in your eyes... 
It might be a wise idea that you and I should go to my room at this very moment, so you might have a good night's sleep. I'm sure that you're tired from your journey home and would enjoy the chance to rest. You may say that, but I can see you fighting the urge to yawn. <laughs> you don't have to stay awake for my sake, you know. If you're tired, I'd prefer that you get some sleep. <laughs> there's no need to lie. If there's anyone that's able to tell when you're tired, it's me. You should retire for the night. Stubborn as ever, aren't you? <laughs> Please, allow me to walk you back to your room. I promise I'll still be here to flirt with you more once you've woken up. <laughs> what if I said I'd be here to flirt with you and bring you breakfast? <laughs> and what sort of pastry is it that you're craving? Hmm. You drive a hard bargain, but I suppose I can make that work. Now, would you please let me escort you to your room? <laughs> yes, I know, but it gives me a chance to steal a few more seconds with you. So, if you'll let me, I'd like to walk with you. <laughs> I might be a shameless flirt, but... I'm a skilled one, aren't I? At least I assume so, given the smiles I managed to get from you. <laughs> Fine, as you wish. I'll try to hold my tongue and its sweetened words for the very short walk to your room. But we better be quick in that case. You're far too attractive for me to ignore for too long. Oh, oh, did I? Oh, then we'd better leave immediately. Time is limited when it comes to how long I can hold back my adorations of you. <laughs> well then, to strike up a new conversation, to distract myself from flirting, may I ask how the journey was? I expect that it was long and tiring, but hopefully it wasn't too harsh. Oh, that's good. I know that the weather in the northern regions can be quite fickle this time of year. And I was worried it would cause you trouble. Thankfully, it sounds like that wasn't the case. Besides the wind. M Master, may I ask you something? You've seemed somewhat distracted since you've returned. And not in the same way you usually are when you're tired. Is something the matter? Are you sure? You know that if it's something I can help you with, I'd be more than willing to do so. May I at least ask what's got your mind so occupied? A rumor? Oh, what sort of rumor could get so tangled in your thoughts like this? Well, that's unusual. You've never cared about rumors regarding royalty or nobility before. Or what exactly was it regarding? The Lost Prince. I don't... Hmm. What do you mean? Has he been found? Then what exactly was the rumor? Eloped? They suspect that the prince had a lover and abdicated the throne to be with them? Huh. That is... It's certainly a possibility, I suppose. Oh, I, I mean, I'm simply caught a bit off guard. It's been some years since the prince has disappeared. I didn't expect that anyone would still be talking about him. Least of all yourself. I thought most people had simply assumed that he had died. What's bringing this rumor about? A look-alike? But how would they know what the prince looks like? A description from the mouth of a gossip can only do so much. 
Uh, not that I'm calling you a gossip, my darling. I know you rarely enjoy participating in gossip, which is why I'm so confused that you're speaking of such a rumor. <laughs> oh, yes, th yes, that's true. A painting would provide a much better reference, but surely there was no way that a full-sized portrait was available. I mean, that is to say, I'm certain that there was no portrait of the former prince in the Greenfield estate. That would be rather odd. Lady Elise commissioned a new portrait? That sounds nice, but I fail to see what that has to do with the portrait of a lost royal. Really? It was the same artist as the one commissioned for the royal portraits? Are you certain? Ah. Uh, <clears throat> they showed you the early drafts of the portraits. <laughs> That's... Uh, that sounds very... Uh, no, I, I don't know what the prince looks like. Looked like, I mean... I, I don't know why that would be the case. I'm not... Uh, you know that I'm not... You make it so hard to lie when you're looking at me like that. Do I really have to say it? You've already figured it out, haven't you? You're not going to make this easy, are you? <laughs> Oh, but that's one of the many things I adore about you. I'm not stalling. I was just... I was just struck by how much I admire you for keeping a level head in this situation. You always look so enchanting when you're determined. Sorry, I can't help it. Flirting with you just comes so naturally to me. But you're right. I'm the lost prince. You, you look so surprised to hear it. But you already knew what I was going to say. <laughs> I, I had imagined you'd received quite a shock when you realized who the artist had been drawing. Sorry. For not telling you. I never thought that you would find out. No, no, wait. Please, I didn't mean it like that. No, 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 it's not that at all. I, I just... Please, allow me to explain myself. I swear, I'll tell you everything. I won't leave a single detail out. Yes, yes, I swear it. Uh, thank you. I promise I'll make it worth your time. Sorry, I'm just not quite sure where to begin. But I suppose I should start here. You're an attractive, well-to-do member of the nobility who has been unwed for many years now. I'd go even further to say that you've never even entered a relationship in my entire time of knowing you, besides that brief fling with the baker. Despite your blatant refusal to take a lover, you still had, and currently have, Many offers of courtship from all over the kingdom. Do you agree with this? <laughs> no, I assure you, my darling. You are incredibly attractive. If it suits you, we could forget the rest of this conversation, and instead I could spend the rest of the night telling you all the things that make you so devastatingly good-looking. <laughs> uh, it was worth a shot. 
But I suppose there's no way out of this, is there? Then I'll continue on. Now, we've agreed that you've had many offers for your hand in marriage, and I think it's fair to assume that you may not have remembered all of them. It is a vast number of flowery letters that I find in the trash, so I assume that some of the names might escape you. However, I would have thought that a letter from a prince would have caught your attention. <laughs> you really don't remember. <laughs> uh, somehow that doesn't surprise me. If anything, you're the one who looks surprised. Yes, I was trying to propose an offer of courtship to you. No, we hadn't met before. But at the time, that didn't matter to me. I'd been ordered by my parents to find a suitable partner, and though I didn't care about finding someone to settle down with, I couldn't disobey them. However, I couldn't stand any of the candidates they chose for me, so I told them that I would find someone myself. I began attending events held during the social season so I could find someone that would agree to marry me. However, even though I was only seeking a marriage for convenience, I still couldn't find anyone that I would be willing to marry. Most of them were so awestruck by me merely approaching them that it annoyed me. Not to mention the ones that would try to chase me down and beg me to marry their eldest child or younger sibling or whomever else. After a few weeks, I was so frustrated with the process, I nearly decided to quit. It was then that I saw you. Like some sort of fever dream, I saw you from across the dance floor. You looked bored with the person talking to you and I remember hearing them brag about how they were surely the best dancer at the ball. A ridiculous claim, given that I'd seen them stepping on every one of their partner's toes all night. But <laughs> it made me laugh to hear you tell them, in no uncertain terms, that you would not dance with them. I was so shocked that I couldn't help but steal glances in your direction whenever I could. <laughs> For the rest of the night... I watched you reject every single person who came up to you. I was fascinated. I spent the rest of the social season asking everyone who I met about you. I listened to everything they could tell me, but it was never enough. I was far too curious about you. By the time the season was coming to an end, I knew that I wanted to try courting you, so I sent you a letter to propose that arrangement. Given everything I'd learned about you, you'd think that I'd have expected that you would just ignore the letter. But for some reason, I didn't. I was confused when I didn't receive a response from you. I decided that I would come see you in person to convince you how beneficial our marriage would be. I was admittedly a bit thrown off by your rejection, but I wasn't willing to give up so quickly. Of course, it was just my luck that I got robbed just as I was entering the town. I was injured during the attack, but before I could find someone to help me, I fell unconscious. Imagine my surprise when I woke up and found myself in your estate. <laughs> you remember that, I assume? It was quite the shock to find out that you were the one who'd been taking care of me. Seeing you walk into the room to change my bandages made me forget every single thought I had about finding someone else to marry. You were so kind to me, helping to mend my wounds and letting me stay there while I healed. <laughs> of course, as greedy as I am, I took you up on this offer. I wanted so badly to know you better, and I knew this might be my only chance to do so. It was clear fairly quickly that you didn't recognize me, which was a refreshing change of pace from the social season. You were so at ease around me, 
It was so different from all the stories I'd heard about your icy demeanor. I couldn't help but be even more drawn to you. As I healed, I began asking to help you with your day-to-day -day items, giving you the excuse of wanting to repay you for your kindness. You allowed it, and I spent most of my time helping you around the house, cleaning, running to the market, cooking. <laughs> All right, I may have done more watching than cooking, but I still tried to help, even if I did burn everything I tried to make. <laughs> But, as I said, I got to spend more time with you. Every day I got to know you a bit more, and every day my admiration for you grew. Every second I spent with you only made me fall for you more. Eventually I asked you why you never entered a relationship with any of the other nobles who sought after you. Do you remember what you told me? You told me that you refused to be with someone who wanted to marry you for something like your fortune or reputation. You would only marry someone who loved you, and whom you loved in return. <sighs> of course I remember. Every time I thought about that answer, guilt would claw at my throat because I knew that I'd been looking to marry you for a similar reason. Even though I had developed genuine feelings for you, I was no better than any of your other suitors. I couldn't press the matter of our courtship. I knew it wouldn't make you happy. However... The thought of having to find someone else to wed was devastating. The thought that I might someday have to leave you was even more so. So, I decided that I wouldn't. I would stay here as long as you would let me, no matter how greedy that made me. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I was when you offered me a job as your butler. I could have kissed you in that moment. Of course, I didn't. I didn't know how you would react, and I couldn't risk losing you. So long as I was at your side, I was happy, and I knew I had to do everything possible to stay here. It doesn't matter. I've never wanted to rule the kingdom, and I'm not the only person in line for the throne. One of my siblings can take my place, and they will do better than I ever could have. I have no desire to return to my old life. Not when I'm with you. Not when I know that I could be here, standing by your side while we walk through the marketplace, or sitting with you in the library. I seek no life besides the one I have made here with you. <laughs> Haven't I made my reasoning clear enough? Because... Because I love you. <laughs> I've been flirting with you for years now. You can't tell me that you're actually surprised. <laughs> yes, yes, I meant it. It just feels so natural to flirt with you, and it always makes you smile. Sometimes you even flirt with me in return, and it always sends my heart into a wild pace. <laughs> I can't tell you what those sweet words mean to me. Oh, of course I'd thought about such things, but it seems far too much to hope for. A romantic relationship with you? If only I could be so lucky. But I'm content with what we have. The smiles, 
the shared glances, the brush of our hands, the secret jokes and whispers for only us to hear. I'm happy with all of it. To ask for more would be asking for too much. It's as I said, I never wanted to do something that would push you away. I would only take what you would allow. I could never try to starve out my love for you, but I won't allow it to take more than you are willing to give. I don't know. I'm not sure what you mean. I suppose I would, yes. Whatever you offer, I'd be more than willing to take. Oh, oh, you mean, Master, uh, are you certain? I don't want you to regret this and fi <laughs> hmm. I... I think I must be dreaming. Ah! Uh, uh, <laughs> hey! I didn't say you should pinch me. <laughs> no, I didn't. Because honestly, if this is a dream, then I want you to never let me wake up. <laughs> well... If I must wake up, then I hope it's at your side. I can imagine few things as sweet as that. <laughs> Except for the feel of your lips on mine. That is certainly sweeter. Please, never make me leave you. I don't think I'll be able to handle it. Of course not. I'm yours, darling. From all those years ago, and until the end of eternity, so long as you will have me, I'm yours. <laughs> 